Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters If you're watching this video in its Salah time please pause it and go pray and come back when you're done Please check out the description section of this video to support the channel I'm going to address the increasingly normalised and growing trend of anti-Muslim rhetoric being used in mainstream Western media and politics To say this is alarming would imply an element of surprise but if you're Muslim you know this ignorant way of thinking and deep-seated resistance resentment harboured by certain non-Muslims has been ever present for decades. Simmering away at the surface whilst only temporarily contained by the virtue signalling of the media and politicians, which is only a disguised tolerance and show of diversity, basically to cover up the guilt of centuries of colonisation, slavery, racism, Islamophobia and oppression, carried out by the West. But when it comes to the crunch, like for instance the genocide and ethnic cleansing of Palestine, all the fake tolerance goes out the window to justify yet another Western political and media blood-soaked money-making agenda, with all the Islamophobic bigots coming out from the fringes to feed and rejoice in the harm being done to minorities and Muslims. I'm not a leftist. As a Muslim, I reject ideologies like feminism, liberalism, gender confusion, etc., due to the rules of my religion. And though I may be considered conservative due to my religious beliefs, I am in no way aligned with right-wing ideologies that promote racial supremacy, nationalism or discrimination of any kind, again due to my faith in Islam. The Kufar may differ slightly in the types of haram they commit depending on which political ideology they follow, but usually they have huge commonalities and overlap in the major sins that they indulge in, and what always unites them is their negativity towards Muslims. Despite this, Islam teaches us to try and live peacefully amongst them and to obey the law of the land as best we can. Trashy media platforms like GB News and Talk TV are at the forefront of pushing anti-Muslim propaganda in the UK. With clowns like Julia Hartley Brewer, James Whale and Darren Grimes etc polluting the airwaves with their toxicity. And with cringe-worthy Islamophobia obsessed serpents like Douglas Murray and Tommy Robinson spewing hatred online, it gives an accurate representation of the bigotry that currently exists towards Muslims. Add that to the anti-Muslim nonsense profiling and stereotyping being promoted most recently by questions shady politicians like Lee Anderson and Suella Braverman and the likes and it's clear to see the degenerate West is not tolerant at all. In fact it's a dangerous place to dwell if you're a Muslim. More liberal media outlets like the BBC, ITV and CNN etc are no better but at least they attempt to use trickery to hide the prejudicial reporting and the anti-Muslim propaganda they are peddling. There are hours and hours of footage of the people I just listed bashing Islam and Muslims but here's a short snippet that gives you the gist of what I mean. It's not racist to call out Islamists. Well, these people are organising these marches. Let's decide what Islamophobia is. Is it blasphemy? And you're criticising what's in the Quran. Well, it's not illegal to criticise a religion. I've heard enough of Islam's holy places. I've heard enough of Islam's feelings and the sensitive feelings of Muslims. These people should scram. They should get out. Diversity is our strength, we're told. As opposed, no, our strength is Western liberal values. If you don't share those values, there are lots of countries that you can go and live in who share yeah. your values. If you want to live under well, Sharia law... Vulnerable white English girls being pursued by gangs of uh, British Pakistani men. A bunch of scumbag terrorists. I don't like Islam. Some people in your religion get quite angry and quite violent. You stupid bitch! They're animals, which is what you're witnessing now. I support Israel. It's the only democracy surrounded by totalitarian, fucking horrible, Islamic Sharia-driven souls. OK, so let's go through these nutters one by one. Lee Anderson seems to think marching is some sort of Islamist extremism. Last time I checked, this is permitted in a Western democracy. He also wants to degrade Islam because this egotistic oaf of a man thinks he simply has the right to do so. What benefit would that bring you, Lee? We're not going to stand for it. Just leave us alone. How about you keep your criticisms private and allow us to practice our faith peacefully? Julie 
Leah Hartley is a typical ignorant entitled liberal that is also against Muslims protesting for Palestine and even told Muslims to leave the UK if they want Sharia. Any Muslim born in the UK is just as British as you Julia. That's like us saying to you why don't you leave and go to Thailand or Australia to practice what you call liberal western values. Why do you feel it's okay for you to tell others to leave? Is it because you don't perceive Muslims to be as British as you because of their skin colour or choice of faith? I think we'll stay because this is our country just as much as it is yours and we'll exercise our democratic right to work towards establishing Sharia law in our everyday lives. James the Whale is also despicable in his ignorance. Honestly people as unintelligent as him should not be allowed to speak, especially in front of cameras. In the extended clip from his interview with a Muslim guest, Whale showed disgust at the fact that a Muslim man refused to shake his wife's hand because in Islam it is not permitted for men to touch random women. This is typical of most Islamophobes. Their minds are closed off, they want Muslims to conform to their way of life because they think we are savages. Islam gives us guidelines to follow. You will not bend them because you and people like you think you know better. This man does not look like he has anything figured out at all. He looks like he drastically needs help. We must never bend our beautiful Muslim values for bigots like this. Soella Braverman is another one who has made comments against people marching for Palestine, shockingly labelling protesters as anti-Semitic for calling for the end of the elimination of tens of thousands of children. Very recently she also implied that all Pakistani men are involved in seedy criminal behaviour. Look, any crime committed by any racial group should be condemned, especially if it involves grooming. But this is not an exclusively Pakistani Muslim issue. It exists in all communities. Is Suella's discrimination due to her Indian Hindu roots, which may be contributing to her having a deep ingrained prejudice towards Pakistanis and Muslims in general. Add that to her desperate need for approval from white people and it just comes across as cringeworthy. And then you have outright racists and Islamophobes like Douglas Murray and Tommy Robinson, whose disgusting lingo would fit in with the abuse minorities used to receive 50 years ago. Douglas is a cartoonish villain that lacks in masculinity and engages in feminine catty behaviour, whilst in debates, because he cannot compete with other men in a physical capacity, add that to the fact that he is a member of the Rainbow Alphabet community, which he hides well so he doesn't put off his right wing supporters, a very suspect character indeed that can't be taken seriously at all. And then we have Tommy Robinson, a man whose hatred of Islam and Muslims has landed him in prison many times. He refers to Israel as the only civilised place in the Middle East because they are wiping out thousands of Muslims. If you go to UAE, Qatar, Oman, Kuwait, Saudi etc, you will see the West significantly pales in comparison to those magnificent nations. So Tommy, the only SHIT hole you must be referring to is the one you're talking out of as usual. Muslims are not inferior to you in any way. They are human beings just like you. You are no better than us. The thing all of these people have in common is small-minded ignorance and blind hatred. Every single thing they accuse Muslims and Islam of is in their own culture more than anyone else's. The West is run by non-Muslims and is in no danger of being overthrown by Muslims. That is a paranoid delusion and an excuse to discriminate against us. Nor are we to blame for the failings of the West. We are a tiny minority. What discriminatory people like these and their followers fail to address when telling Muslims to get out of the West is that the only reason the West is prosperous is because of looting plundering, enslaving and colonising others for centuries. If you want us gone, give back everything you stole from our motherland and we will happily leave. Until then, get used to us being here. This is our country too. We're here to stay and to practice our religion peacefully and proudly and there's nothing you can do about it but whine online. My brothers and sisters, keep yourself safe out there and try your best to avoid these types of people. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join my free telegram group via the link in the description where we as Muslims can speak freely freely and without censorship about issues like this and in order to guide and support each other in our deen. Or if you have more serious personal issues you need help with, feel free to book a call with me. And remember to like, subscribe and become a channel member for access to exclusive content. Until next time inshallah, do that Allah care. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah